do believe I'm the best player in the draft. I think as a top player, if you don't believe that, there's kind of something wrong. They wanted to get a player that they felt could dominate the game, and they really believe that Joey Bosa can change the game, and I do too. So the Joey Bosa drama all started on draft day when Bosa was drafted third overall by the Chargers. That was on April 29th. On July 29th, guard Joshua Garnett signed with the 49ers, officially making Bosa the last first-round holdout. August 9th was the deadline for San Diego to trade Bosa's rights, meaning he'll be a Charger or 2017 draft pick. And yesterday on Twitter, the Chargers announcing their intention to restructure Bosa's offer. That after Bosa rejected the offer that they gave him. NFL analyst Merrill Hodge joins me now. So, Merrill, your reaction to this whole situation, what is it? Well, uh, listen, I think eight-year-olds could figure this out, quite honestly. When you, uh, People got to understand the collective bargaining agreement was to help these situations, so it didn't happen. It's very cookie-cutter. You know, you get a percentage based on what you had last year. This thing has been consistent, and it's fair. When people look at um, the percentages, here's how they need to know. If Joey Bosa were to sign and go in and play his rookie year, he would get all his money, all his signing bonus. It was 17 plus million dollars, okay? There's been guys like James Winston, Ezekiel Elliott, who signed mm -hmm. the same type of contract. So this isn't like something. The same type that the Chargers were offering him. Exactly. It isn't like something that's unheard of and Bosa's being treated any different than anybody else. For it to go this far is about one of the biggest boneheaded moves I have ever seen under this collective bargaining agreement. We have never seen, keep in mind, this has never happened right. before where somebody holds out. When you say never, there's a reason for it. And he is not an NFL player. Even though he was drafted, he has not signed a contract, and he has not played one down in the National Football League. And that is different in my eyes. When you see somebody who's going to get some $17 million and he hasn't mm -hmm. played one snap for you, hasn't done one thing to help your football team, they don't have the same rights that somebody else who has invested and played in this league and proven they can play in this league. These players do a bad, a bad job of this. They hire an agent, and they think the agent is the boss. That agent is not the boss. I am the boss. You get me in there. That is your job. And they've said something else that's disturbing. They're like, uh -huh. well, the, the San Diego Chargers have a history. Forget the history. This is about this player now. So if your representatives have problems based on their history with the San Diego Chargers, fire them and get somebody else in there that can get you in to play because you've lost valuable time. You will never recover. He will be playing from behind from here on out if you were assigned. To Why do you say that? Why never recover? This year he won't recover. Right. He will always play back. The one thing they could do for him, they'll take third down packages and go, you can play for us on third down. Now, that is not why they drafted him, so you can play one down for us and be a select package because learning all the defenses and understanding how to play in this league and all the offenses they face, it will be too much overload. You'll have to simplify it, the play on third down for you, and hopefully we can evolve from there. That's if he were to come in now because after this week's over, Really, they're getting ready for week one opening day, and even though they have one more preseason game. you got to wonder how he's viewed, too, in the locker room at this point if he comes in. Well, see, this is – they've changed the collective bargaining agreement to not pay a ton of money to rookies mm -hmm. that can't play and be held hostage to them and make it simple so players can get in based on the percentages. That's why this is so mind-boggling. I mean, this has never happened. It's cookie-cutter. And what the San Diego Chargers have offered – we'll say it again – other players like Winston and Ezekiel have signed the same type of deal. If he plays his entire season, he's going to get all his money. I've never seen a player third overall not be, I mean, be cut in their first year. I've never seen it happen in 30 years. It's never happened. And it's not going to happen to him. But he has cost himself serious money, especially if he doesn't play this year. This would be among the most ridiculous moves we've ever seen since the new collective bargaining agreement if he sits out all year. Merrill Hodge, thank you. Really you appreciate hearing your opinion.